Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy on the Gamer 870 here back with yet another banger. Now listen. Y'all know I always keep it a buck with you. That's that's the only way I know how to be with you. They have nerfed Dak Prescott. I'm being honest. Maybe it's to make people go out and buy the new quarterbacks. But you all have been coming with me along this journey of, along me trying to find a quarterback. And you all saw the, the precision passing was getting a whole lot better. I was fitting the ball into tight windows. Somebody will take that and run with it. Let that go. Let it go. Anyway, so I was, I was really enjoying the fact that I was able to become a passer with Dak Prescott. This weekend league, he was cheeks, to put it mildly. He was not able to make the passes that I've grown acclimated to him making. You all know there are some passes that just are automatic. And aside from EA allowing people to jump 15, 20 yards into the air to make an interception, the passes just weren't as accurate this, this week. So, I decided, hey, I'm not doing what I usually, well, what I can do in weekend league. Let me do a player review. So, I went out and I got Steve McNair. Yeah, I know. He didn't play for the Broncos, but neither did Dak Prescott. We didn't get a quarterback this year other than Tim Tebow, so whatever. Here's a player review from Tim Tebow. I mean, not from Tim Tebow. He, he must be on my mind. Y'all see it. Here's a player review from Player review from uh, Eric McNair. Uh, we start out in the second quarter here. The ball gets there quickly. Ball gets there quickly. He's three out of three for 57 yards at this point. It's uh, seven to seven. I'm... We ain't gonna act like he ain't just squeeze that in there real quick. That's what we're not gonna do. However, we also not gonna act like this man didn't dot me up with Jimmy Garoppolo the whole game. I have an answer for Jimmy Garoppolo. He ran a basic route both times, both ways. Basic route. Nothing special. I couldn't stop it. I could not stop it. I mean, it was just a matter of him doing what he wanted to do out here. and I was trying to come up with creative defenses, but Jimmy Garoppolo got hot, and I had no answer for him. No answer for him. It was, it was ugly out here. It was ugly out here. That that orange X indicates that he was dotting me up. There's nothing I could do. Look at that. Except for that, you know, I I picked that one off. But I mean, it ain't like I was doing it the entire game though. I love that play where he's trying to sit in the middle. He has to make a decision, regardless of what decision he makes is gonna be wrong. It doesn't matter. Boom! I made the wrong read. McNair made up for it. McNair made up for it. So, uh, people, I'm telling you, Dak was making that pass two weeks ago. He was making that pass two weeks ago, but now he can't do it. And here's Jimmy Garoppolo with these dots. Honestly, I almost didn't even show you all the defensive side of this game because it's so embarrassing. It is so embarrassing. I didn't have an answer for him. At this point, Jimmy Garoppolo is 8 of 10 for 138 yards, a tutty, and a pick. Um, I didn't have an answer for him. Jimmy Garoppolo, and he's running the ex – this is why I hate weekend league, right? First of all, it's – 
I'm not upset at my opponent for running the, the exact same play over and over and over and over again. Because it's football. And if you run across somebody who can't stop a certain thing, you would be stupid to run anything different. I, I'm not one of those who has to prove to you that I can throw or do something out of the ordinary when you can't stop the ordinary. That's your problem. If you can't stop the run, it's your job to make me pass. If you can't make me pass, don't say nothing to me. Period. That's on you. But the reason that I hate weekend league is because these types of plays are so easily exploited. As you saw, he dotted me straight down the field there. These types of plays are so easily exploited. Um, we're going to go ahead and take it to second half because it's a long game. It's a long game. And you all know why it's a long game. It's a lot of scoring. But as the play goes, I'll continue telling you what, what, what my problem is. There is no defense for that. You can – I this game alone, I adjusted my – Depths with my my zones and all of that. I ran different defenses. I don't care what defense you run. The sidelines are always susceptible. But usually they're susceptible to a person who rolls out that direction. He wasn't rolling out. He was standing in the pocket, dotting me up the entire time. He, he didn't have to do anything spectacular. He just did, stood in the pocket and dotted me up. And he literally scored a ton of points doing that. That's the frustrating part. And I want to show you that play. What can you do? What can you do? Quinn Jammer is literally coming down to make the pick. When the ball is released, he decides, you know what? Hey, let me go a different direction. I don't want to go right to where the ball is coming. That's why I hate weekend league. Weekend league is where that any deficiency you have is going to easily be exploited. Any deficiency. It's so easily exploited. <sighs> Look at that. The entire game. The entire game. Come on. And right when you think, okay, I got the got the corners covered. Nah. He, he, he comes back and he dots me again. Oh, let me borrow that one. No. That's that boy Quinn Jammer. That's that boy, Quinn Jammer. He should have kept going to them corners. He had been beat going to them corners. But he got a little greedy and decided he was going to try to just be, try to dot me up all over the field. And No, nah, we wasn't having that. Now, nah, you ain't just going to be disrespectful out here in these streets. But, you know, he's a pretty great passer. I, I, I can't eat. Jimmy Garoppolo always gives me problems on this game. I don't know. And that play, it was open again. And what is this? We ain't going to act like Quinn Jammer ain't a 98 speed guy, 99 overall. We're not going to act like he ain't supposed to be able to keep up with Jerry Rice. Really? Is, is, is this what the world is coming to? Jerry Rice beating people? Off streaks? Now... That was a little disheartening and frustrating because I just knew I had that. He went for two. Um, let's have a little fun with this guy. It's 22-31. I'm having a little fun with him. I, I see that he's having a really difficult time stopping the pass. And again, that's one of those situations where you can't be right. You only had two players on that side of the field, meaning that you would have to personally cover one, and I was sending three. You can't be right in that situation. Here's my play. Let's see how it works on this play. Here's my infamous play right here. Um, 
Of course, we got the first. Uh, weekend League, though, here's another thing. If you're considering playing Weekend League, one of the first things you better do before you even run any offensive play, is go put ball carry on conservative. Go put ball carry on conservative. Oh, y'all missed that. I want you to see this this uh pass by McNair. That's really unfair, honestly. Um, you can't stop that play. Well, let me rephrase that. I went for two as well. It's now 22-39. You can't stop the play, but EA can. EA has it where... I can tell you in the, the first time I run that play if I'm going to win that game or not. I think I'm going to steal. I'm going to steal that. I think I'm going to steal his offensive concept. You really can't stop it. You really can't stop it. I think I'm going to. That's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to. To put some abilities on my tight end. So they'll be able to go and do curls and all this fancy stuff. Because there's no stopping it. There really isn't. There really, now he was wide open. That, play. that wasn't no dot or anything special or spectacular. That was just poor by me. Horrible by me. Um, again, he ain't doing anything out of the ordinary. It's just I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. 29-39, let's get on out of here. You know, it's let's get out of here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and warn you. It gets a little toxic. Let's go get a little toxic. I had every intention on just, you know, playing it simple, playing it safe. Getting out. Wasn't going to really do a whole lot. However. However. I'm going to show you something. Bro, why are you taking time out? I mean, it's a minute 30. I'm down by two scores. I understand you still feel like, hey, I got a chance. But I, I, I kind of felt a little disrespected. Dak would have thrown that out of bounds. Easily, that pass would have gone out of bounds without question. So, loving that. This pass, he caught it, but people, the numbers on McNair, 12 of 13, 219, three tuddies. People, those numbers are amazing. I mean, that, that's better than what I could ask for. Real talk. And he took another timeout. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? Bro, I still got the ball, and you still taking timeouts. So you probably going to be in trouble. Remember I told you I was, was going to get a little toxic? This, this is what I'm talking about. I, I took a timeout. And I'm doing it on purpose. Like, I don't have to take timeouts. I'm just taking timeouts to let them know, bro, it's a waste of time for you trying to stop the game. It's over for you. Let's just get out of here. But he chose to um, not play that way. So, I understand. I understand. And this is another thing that Eric McNair brings to the to the game. I really wish he was faster because in real life, he was a whole lot, he was a lot better of a scrambler than people gave him credit for. He was just one of those guys that preferred to dot you up. Yeah, and this is when it really just got out of hand with the toxicity. Yeah, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do that. However, um, there were there was no more scoring after that. And if I were to give a player review on Steve McNair, I'm not using Dak anymore. I'm using Steve McNair. That's the best review I could give. Could give a better one. Um, at this point, Steve McNair is getting the ball where it needs to be. I'm actually going to use some of the abilities that I saw used on 
um, use against me. That's how I actually improve. I, I play people in weekend league, and I steal what they're doing. But here's the thing, though, people. Here's the thing. Um, I don't want you to think that Steve McNair is just head and shoulders above Dak because Dak was a really good quarterback for the team. But Dak also was the guy that he was nerfed. I, I can't I can't say it in any, any different way. He was nerfed. You all saw how great of a precision passer he was prior. But this weekend league, I couldn't do anything. Like I was scoring with Dak, I was scoring maybe 17, 21 points. Weekend league, you gotta be able to put up some points, or else you might take you gonna take some L's. So with that being said, I've I've made the switch. I'm gonna be using Steve McNair and Probably will be upgrading quarterbacks for the rest of the year. Like who, with whatever new quarterback coming out, that's probably one running with. Sad I have to be that way, but till they give us one for the Broncos, nah, I just do it this way. I just do it this way. So, and I'm also going to be stealing some 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 stuff from people in weekend league. Prior to this game, prior to this game, I was I think I, I don't want to lie to you. I think I was like seven and seven. No, I was. I think I was seven and six, something like that. Um, since this switch, three and zero. Oh. Who knows? I'm gonna lose some some with them because I'm just. I'm not at that level yet where I could just beat whoever they put in front of me. But uh, I am improving. And last week I got 13 games in weekend league with the new offense. Now with the new offense and a new quarterback. Well, I switched halfway through. Let's see if I can beat 13. That's the goal, to beat 13. We're trying to improve every week. Improving every week. Won't hit my 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 high. I, I have had 19 before. I won't hit 19 this week. But if I could hit 15, 16, or 17, if I can hit 16, that'd be real good. That puts me in a whole nother level in terms of uh the rewards you get. You get a whole new level of stuff if you, when, if you hit that. But I probably won't hit that either. Just having fun right now, having a little bit of... uh. I am going to change up these abilities, though. I have, like, 9 AP put on McNair. Uh, I can change that up. With that being said, though, thank you for rocking with your boy. Y'all, the channel is growing. Go tell your friends about the channel. Go tell your friends that we that you know a streamer who streams consistently and who does. Look, if you, if you have missed our streams, you're missing out. You're missing out. Follow me on all social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'm even on Snapchat. I never use it. Uh, I'm on TikTok. All social media. Undergamer870. Search the name. I should be the first person to pop up. Should be the first person to pop up. In a month, we have added 100 plus subscribers, people. We are on our way to 1,000. We are on our way to 1,000 and beyond. We are on our way to 1,000 and beyond. Before the summertime really kick in, I'm trying to be over a thousand. I'm trying to be over a thousand. We and I can't do that without you all. Thank you for everything that you all are doing for the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, with no further ado, continue to love each other. Continue to allow God to use you. Continue to be blessed. Continue to love those who love you and love those who don't love you because they need it the most. I know that sounds crazy, and I know you like, hey, stuff people who don't love me. I'm I'm telling you, this world is full of hate. It's, it's full of just people who they, they respond out of anger. It's enough of that. Let's be the difference that we want to see. God bless you. Peace.